Today we're going to go over how to install the MJX FPV app. So first go to mjxtoys.com and that will take you to their main website, their home page. And in this case we're using one of the X-Series drones, uh, the X-101. Uh, you can see they have uh, other products, uh, but so we'll go ahead and click on the X-Series icon. And here they're going to list the several different drones that they offer, some of the different cameras that they have. You'll actually want to know which camera you have because they have two different applications. Uh, so when you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see under downloads there's application download. And we'll click there. Now depending which camera you have, uh, you'll want to either select the C4008 for either Android or uh, iOS or the 4005. In my case we have the 4008 so we'll go ahead and uh, download that. So you can click right there where it says Android app download. Now this will save the APK to your uh, download file but won't automatically install it. And it may give you a warning uh, saying those types of files can harm your system. Uh, I've tried it and it hasn't caused me any problems, so go ahead and say OK to download. Now again, in order to install the APK, when you click on it, it'll ask you to install, and when you click install, uh, it's only going to work if you've gone into your settings and allowed your system to install applications from unknown sources. So you'll need to do that in order to install this app. There you can see I have a uh, shortcut on my desktop. But first, before we start the application, we're going to need to connect the Wi-Fi with the drone. So I've turned on the drone, which automatically starts its uh, Wi-Fi. When I scan my system, uh, I should see the MJX Wi-Fi option show up here shortly. And we'll go ahead and select that and say connect. Okay, now that we've connected with the MJX Wi-Fi, uh, we can go back to the application and try it out. So again, I've got the drone is powered on uh, and sitting on my railing. And now we're going to click where it says monitor, and that brings up the image. You can see we've got several icons across the top uh, for taking video or snapshots, going into our saved files. And here we click the 3D. Now it's not true 3D, but it gives us a side-by-side -side, uh, dual image that we can use for a, a VR headset uh, for flying FPV. So it looks like we're ready. Uh, that's it. It's pretty simple. And uh, now we're going to try it out in the next video.